On today's show, we are going to do our taxes via Wealth Simple Tax. My name is Candace, and we'll begin right now. There are so many different online tax programs we can use to do our taxes this time of year. Conversely, there is also the old standard way of manually doing your taxes. However, for most people, online is probably the better option. Not only is it easier to understand, an online return is also a faster way to get back any returns owing. Of course, if your taxes are beyond complicated, you may also opt for an accountant or tax professional to do them for you. In this walkthrough, we are going to go through the basics of Wealth Simple Tax, so if it is a right fit for you, this will show you how to use it. When using Wealth Simple Tax, I recommend doing it on a desktop or laptop. It is nice to have a little more room to work, and also sometimes pop-up windows can be problematic on mobile devices. I did not try to do my Wealth Simple Taxes on a mobile, so if you do it that way and the pop-up windows are not an issue, please let us know down below. <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, <laughs> let's jump into those taxes. So to begin, we will head over to the Wealth Simple page and log in. It may ask you for a six digit code sent to your email as an extra layer of security. If so, just grab that from your email and enter it so you can log in. Once you are into the site, you want to click on tax. It basically then will spell out what exactly the next steps are. So we will be confirming our personal details, importing our tax info, and then fine tuning it before we submit our return. Sounds pretty easy. Well, let's get started and click on continue. <laughs> on the next screen, we will be adding our personal details. For privacy reasons, as we do my return, I will be blacking out some of my information. <laughs> so on this screen, we simply fill in the blanks and then click on next. We absolutely want to be using autofill, as this is the way we can import all of our tax forms from the CRA and the investment information from the various exchanges. That's mostly gonna be your crypto. First thing I'm going to do is import all the stock transactional information from Wealthsimple. This will include my RRSP and TFSA information, and then also any taxable activity I did in my personal account. Once we have done that, we want to then import our data from the CRA. Hopefully, you have a login to the CRA website as you are going to need that now. You will have to agree to the CRA's terms of service. It then takes a moment to connect with the CRA. The login will come up in the pop-up and you will log in as you normally do. Once you are in, it will let you know that you are requesting tax information for your SIN number, which is blacked out on my video. It will then tell you again, and all you need to do is hit next and your authorization should be in progress. Once you get the successful message, you can close the pop-up and return to Wealth Simple. You will see as you scroll down, the CRA information is now listed. From here, just click on Add to Return and we will move on. At this point, we have the option to wrap up your return and that is true if you only have stocks in Wealth Simple. In that case, you are almost done. What we do get next is simply more information we need to fill in. It is all pretty basic. Now, as we fill in enough, Wealthsimple begins to make the initial calculations. Over on the left, your return amount will show up and will be modified as more information is added to your return. Once we get to the bottom, we now have the options to add our crypto gains. You may have noticed this upgrade return button. That is simply to let a professional from Wealthsimple help you out, which will of course come with a fee if it is something you want. We are just going to add our crypto instead. So click on the continue on this screen and Wealthsimple will connect with Coinly. You then agree to Coinly's terms of service. This will bring you to a list of exchanges and this is where you will import your crypto information. I will be importing Kraken first. <coughs> For Kraken, it tells me I can set it up with my transactions being automatically imported. That sounds good to me. The next pop-up tells me about the API and secret key I need to get from Kraken to facilitate the import. 
Of course, if you do not know how to get the API keys, just click on instructions and it will bring up a great little informational page to show you. After importing my information from Cracking, I'm going to move over to ShakePay. I could not see ShakePay on the main screen, so I just typed it in the search. With ShakePay, you have to import the data via the API file that ShakePay will send you via email when you ask for it. Just go to your ShakePay and go to Settings and then Request Transaction Summary. Once you have it from ShakePay, just upload it to Coinly. Once the import is complete, you can go back to Wealthsimple if that is all you have or you can add more. In my case, Wealthsimple timed out so I just had to log in again. Don't worry, Wealthsimple has everything you have done saved so you don't have to start over. Just log back in and scroll back down to the Add Crypto Gains link and that takes you back in. You should see everything you added thus far. If you are finished, then click on Calculate Taxes. If you have done more than 500 crypto transactions, you will get this screen. Unfortunately, Wealthsimple can only do up to 500 as per their agreement with Coinly. What this means is that you have two options. You can pay Coinly for the data, and it is not, it is not cheap. <laughs> or you can manually enter in your data, which is fine if you have been tracking it. Otherwise, it could be an aspirin sandwich. Let's start with the free option. If you scroll down further on the Wellsimple page, you can see all the forms attached. You want the capital gains or losses form. From this form, you can enter in your main crypto information. For my Kraken, I had cashed in 9,034 from an adjusted cost base of 9,008 for a wee capital gain of $26. If you have received interest on your crypto, that would be considered income and thus you would enter it under other investment income. You would need to do this for each coin on each exchange. So it can get tedious and for that reason you may just decide to pay Coinly. <laughs> Once you choose your plan on Coinly, then you download the report for Wealthsimple and it will give you the option to add it to your return, which you want to do. Once you are back, just scroll all the way up and down and make sure you have not missed any fields. Once you have done that, click on Submit on the left-hand side of the page. It will bring you to the Review and Optimize page. Anything listed at the top in red is things that need to be corrected. And there will probably be a few. Sometimes the imports are not 100% perfect, but they're usually super tiny little errors that are super easy to fix. After the red sections, there are some recommendations that are not mandatory, uh, but still worth looking over. And lastly, is some other options like making sure your direct deposit is up to date. Once you return to the review page without any errors, you are ready to go. Just scroll down and click on Submit Taxes. Then you decide how much you are going to pay. The last box, you can write in whatever you want, including zero if you choose. So that is it. That is how Wealthsimple Tax works. Keep in mind, this is their second year, so I'm expecting more improvements each year. Hopefully they can do something about that 500 limit. It really goes without saying that tracking your own crypto can save you some when it comes to tax time. If you guys loved this video, be excited. There is way more to come. Until then, why not watch one of these videos? And before you jump into that content, just be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you in the next video.